Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific. Today we're going to go over this Nikon E600 DIC microscope. So we're going to do a little bit of disassembly, um, assembly, and uh, we're going to go over the DIC components. Okay, so let's get started. We have the trinocular head. You can remove this with this thumb screw right here. The next part, we have an analyzer. That's a must for the DIC components. All right. On this particular scope, we have the wrench that's built into the back. We try to have that with every scope. They're not always there. For this Nikon, you'll need a two millimeter Allen wrench. Um, the nose piece is very tricky. So if you look right here, there's a Allen screw, this two millimeter wrench. It goes right in there. You'll loosen that just slightly and lower the focus. You want to make sure the stage is nice and low so you don't hit the objectives. It pulls straight out and drops down. Once you have that, we'll take that off and then we'll remove the stage. So the stage is on a thumb screw here on the front. Loosen that and that takes right off. Then we're going to lower the or we'll raise the focus back up. Okay. All right. So then we're going to have to take the, uh, the polarizer off before we take the condenser out. So that same wrench, there's going to be a hole right there on the front on this one. A lot of times this thing rotates, so it could be over to the right or it could be behind it. You just have to find where the screw hole is. Um, then once the polarizer's off, you can drop the stage or drop the substage. This thumb screw right here releases the condenser. And then, uh, okay, we're going to remove the lamp house. There's a two millimeter Allen wrench hole right here on the top between the lamp house and the stand. You want to back that off. Once that's off, you can just give this a little wiggle and it'll come out. Those two pins we'll go into these holes when we do a assembly and put it back together. The microscope's disassembled. So while we have it disassembled, I'm gonna slide this out of the way. We'll go over a couple of the parts. Like I said, we have the analyzer. The analyzer is gonna to have to be above the objectives for DIC. Um, you have the objectives right here. This particular scope, we have a phase objective. Um, it's going to be a phase one. There's a phase one prism that corresponds to this objective. Then you're going to have um, a 20, a 40, a 60, and a 100. Above each one, you'll notice a little slider. These sliders have writing on there. PF20 to 20X objective. They line up. You'll need this prism to get the DIC to work correctly. All right, there'll be one for each objective. This condenser will have stops, phase rings, DIC prisms. Those prisms in the condenser will have to line up to what objective is in the field of view. Um, once the analyzer's in, the correct objective, the correct prism slider, the correct prism in the condenser, and the polarizer, you should be able to get good DIC. So you're gonna to have to cross the poles for the analyzer and the polarizer within color illumination, make sure the correct objective's in, the correct prism, correct prism in the condenser, then you should be able to get really nice DIC from that. Okay, once you receive your DIC microscope, this Nikon E600, um, we're gonna go over assembly. So first off, we're gonna put the lamp house on there's going to be these two pins need to line up with these two pin holes. Um, it just slides right in. Once it's in, you'll use your two millimeter Allen wrench. Tighten that down. If I can get it in there. There we go. So that lamp house is nice and sturdy on there. All right. The next portion we're gonna go ahead and put the condenser in. This condenser's got a little pin in the back. There's a pin hole here. So you'll slide the condenser in and you'll see it click back. 
see, see how it drops back in? Once it's in, go ahead and lock it in with this thumb screw. Raise it up, raise the subsage up, and then we can put the polarizer on. So here's your polarizer. I'm gonna set it over the dust glass and then use the two millimeter Allen wrench to tighten that on and then the polarizer is locked in. Then we're gonna take the nose piece. The nose piece, like I said, is very tricky. It has a groove here. You kind of, it's best to do it with the stage off and the, con and the condenser and substage down. Um, what you wanna do is kind of set it halfway back. Um, you want the, the notches to go in. It's very, very tricky. Once you get it in, never take your hands off of this thing until you know it's in there. And tighten the Allen screw. Notice the nose piece is on there really good and tight. All right, put the lowest magnification objective in so you have the most working distance. Lower the stage as far as you can get it. And then put the stage on. You'll feel it drop down. What I like to do is before I tighten it all the way, I'll put a slide or something very square like a ruler behind the stage, push it back so it's nice and square, and then tighten it down so we know that the stage is not crooked. It's nice and tight, ready to go. Then you'll want your analyzer. Your analyzer is gonna go in this analyzer slot here. Each, uh, each analyzer is gonna have two configurations. You're gonna have an analyzer and then what the model is right here. Um, this particular feature, you want the analyzer portion facing upward uh, to ensure we get good DIC. Um, then you'll wanna put the head on. I like to turn the heads uh, kind of sideways like this so I can get a good start on the screw and then pivot it once it's ready and then lock it down. Now your microscope's assembled and you're ready to set color illumination and get started uh, enjoying the DIC of this beautiful microscope. Okay, we've disassembled and assembled this DIC microscope. We went over several components on it. Um, with any kind of microscope, especially DIC, they are a little tricky. Um, you need to pay attention to the manual, make sure everything's aligned, color illumination's a must. Um, but you know, once you get it pretty roughed in like this, um, give us a call. If you have any questions, we're happy to help. Um, we'll send a manual with the scope um, or provide one online for you. So uh, this is Chad with Monday Scientific. And if you got any questions, reach out to me at info at mondaymicroscope.com. You can find us at mondaymicroscope.com or microscopemarketplace.com is our e-commerce marketplace where you can buy these microscopes and accessories.